Hi, I'm Kathy Street with the Oregon Trail Library District. Our project is Cooking in the Library. Cooking spaces and cooking lessons and nutrition lessons have become very common in libraries across the United States. And we wanted to offer this, but we didn't have any kitchen area. So that's why we uh, decided to try it out for the grant to see if we could provide this for our community. So you got a little ways to go still, squishing yours out to the sides. See how he's pulling his? Yes. That's the grant funding is supporting our project by helping pay for the equipment. Our goals for the project are to offer group lessons for all ages, for elementary on through high school and adults to learn different things to cook with, different methods, and perhaps just to do fun things like today. I would encourage other groups to apply. It was very easy to fill out the application and they are wanting to work with our groups and our communities. No, we, we were very excited to be chosen as one of the grantees and to get our project off the ground has been something we've been looking at for three years now. So it's been great to have this opportunity. Hi, my name is Amy Jo Young. I am the founder and president of LAPS Incorporated. Uh, our project this year is a free mobile thrift and community fridge. So this is the beginning of a 10-year project. Uh, the free mobile thrift and community fridge came out because of the pandemic. Many families, those who don't have nothing to have something, is the ability to get simple things for their homes and themselves. And then the community fridge is, uh, it can go from produce to a toothbrush. So it's, you never know what someone is needing and lacking. And so to offer it freely without any strings is um, fulfilling for us to offer that to folks. So when we got this grant and it supported us to get a trailer, we, that was one of the huge, <laughs> we realized that um, a truck in a, an Equinox did not work. And we had a tiny trailer and it soon got full. So we were able to get a trailer as well as it was able for us to have some extra funds to go in and get fresh fruits and vegetables from the farmers and offer fresh fruits and vegetables. We also was able to go into grocery stores and get non-perishables, um, toilet paper, shampoo, toothbrushes, hair brushes, everything, and offer that at our pop-ups that we've had. Um, we partnered with Oregon Health Development Coalition on, in September and we served 300 and a little over 300 families, 300 people, and then we did a partnership with Gobi at Stamp Out the Stigma Summit in Pendleton, and we served over 200 people with that. The reason why we chose mobile is some people cannot come to us. So we would rather go into a community, talk to them where we can have a, a pop-up, and then folks can just come and grab what they need to have. Hi, I'm Andrea Nelson, and I am the owner and operator of Blackacre Farm here in Lexington, Oregon. I see a need in our community for more pollination gardens because we live in an agricultural rich area, but not in a highly pollination rich area. Um, we mainly are focused on dryland wheat in South Moreau County, which doesn't leave a lot of room for native pollinators. So I wanted to introduce more space for those pollinators. The Change X grant funding has been instrumental in providing funding for the pollination project and the open orchard project. The funds have helped kickstart the garden and has also been a motivator to keep working towards the goal of seeing it complete. The pollination project really is for the most part complete, but there is still things to be done. And then the open orchard, it's a long-term project. And we hope that it will just continue to provide opportunity for the community to come out and visit our farm, as well as provide more fresh produce to our local food bank. We saw pollinators right away. One of the first pollinators we saw was a hummingbird. 
and we've also seen a number of butterflies that we haven't seen here in many years come to visit the pollination garden. The Open Orchard Project has been a great learning experience for the volunteers that have came to help. They've learned about what it takes to plant bare root trees, they've learned about irrigation systems, and what it takes to maintain those trees and preparing them for this upcoming winter. My goals with this project moving forward I would love to see the pollinator projects throughout South Morrow County coordinate some sort of pollination garden tour for the school children. The Open Orchard Project, I would like to be able to start using the produce in my established orchard to donate to the Neighborhood Center Food Bank and then in another five years to be able to have people come out and actually see that process and maybe learn a little bit more about what they can do with fresh produce.